Hi there guys, so today I've got a review of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 after two weeks of using it. So I've got it in this clear case that I just picked up from Amazon for about £7. It was really inexpensive and I've got a glass screen protector on the front. As you can see, it's bubbling a bit in that corner, but apart from that, it looks good. So yeah, this is my review after two weeks of using the phone, just to give you my thoughts and impressions um, of the new Z Flip 6. I did do an unboxing on my channel, so if you haven't already seen that, just make sure you head over to my page and check out the unboxing of the phone. So yeah, I'm gonna take it out of this case for now. I've chosen my other desk that I've got, which kind of has like a, a carbon sort of design on it, as this phone is the crafted black color, which also has a very similar pattern. So I'll take this out of the case now. As you can see, the back of the phone has sort of got like a carbon effect, very similar to the background of this desk, which is a bit scratched up, admittedly, but yeah, um, it does look really cool. I do like the look of this phone. So the first thing I'm gonna mention, and it's gonna be pretty obvious because you can see it in this video, the screen sort of part where it folds, because it's a folding phone, obviously it's always gonna have that crease. So they can minimize that as much as possible, but I don't think they're ever gonna get rid of it just because of the nature of the device is a folding glass display. When it came out of the box, it did look quite less noticeable. Um, although diminished over previous years, I think you can still see it. I'm not gonna say like it's completely gone because it definitely hasn't, it is still there. Um, and I'd say after a good few folds, it's become more noticeable. So that's just something to watch out for. If you wanted to get a flip phone that doesn't have the crease, then we're not there just yet. My initial impressions though are that this is the best flip phone that Samsung have released yet. I had the Z Flip 3, the Z Flip 4, I didn't have the 5, but then this is the 6. And yeah, it's just a really good phone, that's, that's what I've gathered from this overall. So starting off with the cover display, this front display, it has lots of different options for you to navigate, different menus, you've got your notifications that you can clear um, and look at, and you can pretty much do a lot of things on the front display without having to actually open the device, which wasn't previously possible with the Z Flip 3, 4, all of the ones before it. There's actually a sort of launch you can download from Samsung directly, which lets you use the phone with other apps outside of the native ones. So in order to enable different applications on the cover screen, you need to go to the Samsung Galaxy Store and download something called Good Lock. It's this one, the top one, so good luck there. And once you've installed that, then go into the app. Then you need at the bottom here to go to Life Up. And then it's something called Multistar. So this is what you need, Multistar, because there's lots of different options within Good Luck of what you can actually choose. Um, but yeah, it's something called Multistar. When you've got that, you can go into your settings and then choose your cover screen. So um, here it is, it's like the launcher for it. And you can choose all of the apps that you want on your phone. Um, so you can add everything that you've got if you want and have that on the front display. So for example, let me add Snapchat, let me add just a couple more to show you what I mean. Um, imagine I just select most things. Okay, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna shut that screen again. Now we're on the cover screen. I swipe over and this is where I've placed a launcher. So I can more or less do most things from the front screen. So I can go onto Netflix and watch things there if I really wanted to. Um, I can, what else can it do? Amazon, I can go shopping, different cases. You can just do everything that you do from the inside, but on a quite a lot smaller display. So yeah. That's how you install a launcher for good luck. And I find that really handy because sometimes it's easy just to grab it and then, you know, just have a little scroll through the front screen. You don't actually have to open it if you don't want. Another really handy feature with this front display is obviously being able to use the camera. So you can more or less do all your selfies with being able to see yourself 
whilst using that front 50 megapixel camera, which is really good quality. So I think that's a really good design feature with it being a flip phone. I'm going to move on to the battery life now. I am an iPhone user. I use an iPhone as my main device. This has kind of been secondary, so I've not used it as my ultimate be-all, end-all mobile phone device for the last two weeks, but I have extensively tested it. And I would say that the battery on this is a lot better than any other Flip that I've had before, so the Flip 3 and the Flip 4. I'd say you'd probably get about six to seven hours screen on time with this before needing a recharge. So for most people, that will do an entire day. Um, for others, they might need to give it a top up in the evening. But what I will say is it's the best battery that they've had so far on the Z Flip series. So it's got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery along with that Snapdragon S Gen 3. So it's the most efficient it's ever been whilst also being the biggest milliamp hour battery that it's ever been overall leading to a good battery experience. The camera on this phone kind of matches the regular S24. So it's got a really good camera quality when you can choose up to 50 megapixels. When, it, when you zoom in two times, yes, it's digital, but it kind of crops the 50 megapixel to make the two times actually really good and more or less seeming like it is an optical zoom. So the camera is something that I've been impressed with. Video camera, I wouldn't say is anywhere near as good as my iPhone, but it kind of does the job. Um, like it's not the best thing in the world, but it's also not the worst. It looks good, not amazing. It doesn't feel as smooth video as the iPhone. But I would say that the camera sort of still pictures are good. I just wouldn't say that the video is amazing compared to what I'm used to with the iPhone. In terms of the speaker and how it sounds, it's all right. It's got dual speakers, so one up at the earpiece and then down here. Um, where this kind of cutout is at the bottom. It's good. It's not excellent. Again, the only thing I can really compare it to is my iPhone, which I know some people might not like, but the iPhone's got a really good speaker on it. And this doesn't come up to the, to the standard that the iPhone is. So it's loud enough. It's got enough clarity, but it just isn't as good as the iPhone, in my opinion. Here's an example of the audio from the device. Your name, I'm going to try to pronounce it. Amala. Amala, perfect. Ratna. Okay, yep. That's pretty good. Yeah. Zandi. What is the worst advice you've ever received? Here's what happens when you put butane in a bottle of Coke. It actually boils, so when you turn it upside down, a ton of gas gets created and it turns into a rocket. There are some new AI features with this. So, for example, if you're on, I don't know, Instagram and you see something that you like you can circle to search which i guess is useful i mean i can't really think of a real life scenario when i would use it but it's good to know that if i did need to then it'd pull up things where i could search it um yeah that's just something with the new galaxy ai so some other samsung's that are newer will have this too there's also something where you can draw your own thing so if i open this and let me just draw like, I don't know, a moon with some stars. And then I click generate. It'll sort of AI generate a picture that's better than the one that I've just drawn myself. So you get all these different options of what it's just generated from what you've kind of drawn, which I guess is a bit gimmicky. Is that a feature anyone actually needs? Probably not. Is it something people will use? Maybe, but I wouldn't say it's like an actual amazing feature or anything. Another AI feature brought to it is sort of picture editing. So you can click edit on a picture that you've taken and then click this little button here, which is the AI thing. So you can circle things to remove them and add them, whatever. But you can also click this button here and draw something that you want to add to your image, which I guess is kind of cool. It's always gonna have the little AI stamp on it. For example, I want to add the sun into this picture. So if I just draw a circle here and then, you know, all the little bits, and then I click generate, it should add a sun to the picture. And then you get different options. 
I mean, it's done a moon there, but yeah. So I guess that's kind of gimmicky when you do save one. So for example, I click done at the bottom on this. When you do save one and save a copy, it's always going to show watermark the picture. So at the bottom right hand corner, it will say AI generated content. So that's something to be aware of if you are going to use this feature. Gimmicky, I suppose, but it's just something else fun to play with with the phone, I suppose. In terms of like general speed and getting stuff done, I would say that this is quite a snappy phone. It's got the latest Snapdragon generation. So yeah, it's really snappy. I've never had a problem with the, the processing 12 gigs of RAM. It's just, yeah, it's fine. It works absolutely fine. It's snappy. If I need to go into Spotify and click in that and then listen to something and snap out of it and go into something else, like it is really quick and responsive. So that is that is a good bit about this phone. Um, Yeah. I think overall, my favourite bit about having a flip phone is that when you end a call, you can quite literally do this and it ends the call. And I think that's just a piece of nostalgia that you can't get from an iPhone currently. I do hope that they make a flip phone in the future. But yeah, overall, I'm going to give this phone a rating out of 10. Just my personal opinion. I would give it 8.5 out of 10. And I think it's really good. Anyone considering getting one, why not? I just think it's a pretty decent device and the best flip that Samsung have made so far. So yeah, thank you for watching this after two week review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, thank you for watching.